All right, now we're gonna go over custom values. What are custom values you say? Great, I'm glad you asked. Custom values are a very powerful feature of high level, but there's also custom fields. We're actually gonna go over those first. Now I'm really confusing you, right? All right, now they're not that hard. I'm gonna show you what they are and what they are called in other softwares. Some other softwares use, they call them merge fields. High level, they call them custom fields and custom values. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to settings here and you're gonna scroll down and then right here, there's custom fields and custom values. So we're gonna start with custom fields and it'll explain more when I show you here. Custom fields, the key thing to note is they are per contact, whereas custom values are account wide. Okay, for example, we have, this is all about the contact. And if you go to first name here, this is the, the unique key that will be used to pre-fill in the contact's first name. Because everybody's gonna have a different first name, different business name, different email, different all that. Whereas the custom values, you can choose this to be account wide. For example, what's your company name? That's gonna be used everywhere in this messaging. Or what is you know the type of customer? It's not gonna be for your clients or for your leads, that's for you. Okay, let's come back to custom fields. For example, this first name, and then we have say time zone. Okay, let me show you an example. Let's click on the go back. Let's go over to contacts. I'm gonna go into this contact here. And now mainly where they're used are the messages that go out, text messages, emails, but you can use them in funnels, you can use them in surveys, in forms. There's a lot of different places you can use custom values. For example here, if I wanna send this text message out to Bob Smith, I can type in, hey, Bob. But now if I wanna go and send it to another contact, Stacy, I'd have to come in to hers and type in, hey, Stacy. That's just gonna be a lot, right? So instead of doing that, I can create one email, one text that is customized to that specific contact with their information. Here, what I can do is click on the more button, click on contact, it's all information about the contact and say first name. Now we see here, it'll be, hey, Bob, when it gets sent out. And maybe do something like, I see you are in, we'll say, talk about what state they're in. So contact and we'll say, for example, state. Now this will fill in whatever state they're in. If that is filled in here under the general info, if that is filled in here, it'll put that there. Okay, then it'll say, I see you're in California. Now. Maybe you also want to send out a message where you're saying, book a call with me here. Book with me here. And then you can click on the more button and you click on back. We'll get down here to custom values. Remember they're account wide. Then you would put in the calendar link. Now it'll fill in your calendar link, whatever you have in that custom value. And now this is a message that you can copy and paste this to send it to other people, or you can even create a template out of it and then just load the template and it makes it really easy. Custom values, custom fields, they make your, so streamline your process a lot easier for your account. So now that I showed you that, makes sense. Now let's actually go and fill them in. All right, we can come back to settings and we can go down into the custom values here. And what we can do is we can go to each one and then copy and paste, put them over and click back and click back it might take a while. But what we're gonna do is in your document here, made it really easy, scroll down to your custom value section you got this little table here. They're lined up the way they are in the same order. The name, the key, and then your value, okay? Also, there's some notes down here of where they're all located so you know how they're being used. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go fill all these in. Then we're gonna come back to this page and we're gonna fill them all in here, just copy and paste. Make it a little bit quicker. We're just gonna go down the line. First thing we're gonna go is to company name caps. I'll show you where that is. This one, if we click on back, it says the privacy policy terms and conditions. If we go down to sites and we go to legal pages, Say you're using these legal pages, privacy policy in terms of service. Now I have these open here on the two tabs. I'm gonna go into the privacy policy. As you see in here, company name was the company name. Okay, this is your company name. If we search here, and I search for company, it kind of shows up here twice. If I scroll down, that's something different. You wouldn't put it there. You put wherever the custom values are, but you don't have to come into the privacy policy and you don't have to come into the terms of service because you just update the custom value and then it's gonna update it and it's gonna populate it all throughout these. And if you look here under, under the terms of service, terms of con conditions, terms of service, it shows up about 38 times. That's a lot. You'd have to, if you were to come here and do this manually, you'd have to come into every single one, put your company name, your company name, and that would just take a while. Now you say there's two of them, company name and company name caps, what is that? And just for aesthetics, I like to, some parts in here, see how this is all capitalized? You could do lowercase, but I just like it. I think it looks better. That's where these are gonna show up here. What you can do here, you put in, we'll go with funny company. And then this one, funny company. Basically, however you want your company name to be displayed, maybe you wanna do LLC or whatever your company is. 
wherever this is going to be, that's going to be where it's going to be sent out. This one, the company name, this is in the calendar title, form buttons, and most of the workflow messages that go out. Okay. That's where you get those from. All right. So I'm going to back out here. That's your privacy policy terms of service. Next, we're going to go over to the calendar link. Where do you get that from? We're going to back out here, back to the home. We're going to the funnels and whatever funnel you've chosen, it was this one, you're going to come here and then you're going to go down to the booking page because this is where the calendar is at. This link here, this is the one that's going to go out in the messages. We're going to copy this and we'll put this over here. And then now we're going to go to the next one, Facebook pixel. This you'll get from your Facebook ads manager, get the pixel in there. And whatever it is, it's usually a number that's long like this. Okay. The privacy policy, that is going to be the privacy policy link. We're going to come back here. We're going to go to home, legal pages, legal pages. Now, if you don't have the domain connected, then you're not going to have the link for it. We'll have to connect the domain first. Go into settings, as a reminder here, drop down, select your domain, click save. And now you have your link there. We'll copy this, put this in here. And we're going to get the terms of service as well, terms. And we're going to put the terms and conditions. Now we have the link. And that link is actually in, if we look at the bottom here, these are links here. These are clickable links and it'll take them to that. Now you don't have to, you don't have to edit the funnel at all. Okay, so we have that. Next, the phone number and phone number and link form. We're going to go back to settings. We're going to go to phone numbers. And you're going to take not your phone number from the business profile. You're going to take the phone number that you bought in the account here. So the phone number in here, this is what you're going to take. Let's go ahead and let's copy this one, like the friendly name. Take that and we'll put the phone number in here. Now for the phone number, the Twitter number in link form, what this is going to be, you're going to type in T-E-L colon and then the country code plus one for my case. And then I'm going to put in the phone number there, but you're going to remove the dash. You're going to remove these parentheses, just make it just a number. What this does is when you get sent out on the messages, is going to be in a link form. When they click on it, their phone will automatically start ringing or it'll start ringing from the browser instead of them having to copy the number and paste it in. It just makes it a little bit easier for them. Okay, next is the type of customer. What we're going to do is we're going to come back and we're going to click on and go back. And to show you where this is under sites, we're going to go to, for example, the forms builder. And in this form here, this is also how you can see how custom values and custom fields can be used. So you see in here this consent checkbox. I agree to receive marketing messages from company name. So you don't have to type it in. You'll just put your company name in here. And then right here for the type of customer, this is where it's used. Yes, I want more. So you're going to put in here, or not in here, but you're going to put in your custom value, the type of customer. Maybe it's clients, customers, patients. Depends on who your target audience is. If you're talking to chiropractors and dentists, you'd want to put in patients. So then it'll read, yes, I want more patients. Or if you're talking to maybe coaches and consultants, Yes, I want more clients. Usually that's what they call it. That's what you'll do. For this case, I said, Jim, we'll just say customers. Okay, you got those filled in. Now you don't have to use this document. I just kind of made it easier. But what you're going to do is we're going to back out here. And let me also just show you in the messaging. If we go to the automation and let's go into opt-in folder into this first one. This, a lot of these custom values are used in this messaging here. If we go down to the email that goes out, see there's, contact first name, contact first name, Twilio number, your number. There's this here, which is, if we click here, the calendar link. So then it's a clickable link and it'll put in the calendar link. Also signs off company name. Now you have to go and edit all this. You don't have to do that. If you didn't use custom values, you'd have to come into this message and then this message, change it here. You'd have to go in and change it into all these messages and that would just take a lot of time. Whereas if you just change it in the custom value, then it's here. For example, you change your booking link. You don't have to come in all these messages, you just change it from the custom value. All right, so let's back out here. Now let's go back to settings. Let's go to the custom values and let's actually fill them in here. I'm gonna edit this, click on three dots and edit, and then you can type whatever you want. Like I said, you can use a document or you can just come and paste them all in here and you'll click on update. And then for this one, the calendar link, say I went and copied this. I'll come back here, edit custom value, paste that in. Then those go down the line now, those all in. I'm not gonna do that now, this video will be a lot longer, but you wanna make sure that all your custom values are filled in, otherwise some of the messaging that goes out, they'll, they'll have blank spots if you don't fill these in. It's important to fill those out, and with that, I will see you on the next video.